Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science in the SI units of measurement. Science involves taking measurements, looking at this data, and sharing data with others. Whether you are a chemist, biologist, an engineer, or even a medical doctor, you need a consistent way of communicating measurements like distance, mass, temperature, etc. The International System of Units, abbreviated SI, allows people from all over the world to speak the same language when measuring. In this video, I will talk about three types of units of measurements in the SI. The seven base units, the derived units, and then the accepted units. Up first, the seven base units. I call them the big seven because the SI system is built around these units. They are meter for length, kilogram for mass, second for time, ampere for electric current, Kelvin for thermodynamic temperature, mole for the amount of substance, and candela for luminous intensity. The next units are the derived units. These use the base units in a formula. For example, the unit for area is a de derived unit. In order to calculate area, you multiply length times width. Therefore, the unit is a square meter. It uses a base unit meter in the formula. Here's a partial list of the derived units. I'll leave a link for a more comprehensive list in the show notes. Finally, we have what are called accepted units. For example, in almost any high school science lab, you will measure volume using liters. Liters is an accepted unit that can be used with the SI units. In other words, it's accepted in most papers or journals, but it is not a base unit of the SI. Here's a list of some accepted units. Look for a more comprehensive list in the notes. If you want to know more about the SI system of measurement, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math.